All right, it is now time for a new nail art video. Um, my nails are getting pretty long and they're not as bad like from the acrylics because I have not worn acrylics since um, the beginning of August. It is now the end of October. So they've pretty much grown out. They are just fine except for just on the edges. This one is cracking a little bit. But um, I find that when they get longer, they chip easily, more easily, especially like in the shower, right after I get out of the shower, I find that's when I chip them the most. So I know it's only been two days, but I had already chipped the um, velvet texture polish that I just did. So I'm ready to move on, and since it is now the 29th, or is it the 30th? It is now the 30th. I am going to attempt to do a jack-o'-lantern on my nails using the only technique that really works for me. It does not include drawing at all. It includes uh, 3D stuff. So. That is what I'm going to be attempting. Um, you would have, would have probably already seen the end result because that's what I will have the picture as. So hopefully it is appealing and you're watching. So um, getting started, I do have all of my things here but I have so much stuff I'm not even going to show you. I don't know exactly what I'm going for. Um, I have all kinds of different shapes to do pretty much anything. I'm probably going to do them all different shapes, different colors. So I've got a selection here for myself for whenever I make up my mind. But um, I probably, like I said, that's pretty much, I cannot draw. So that's the only way I know how to really do nail art is just stick something on there that looks like a shape. So <laughs> that is what I'm going to be attempting. So anyways, back to this. Let's get the base coat on. All right. That seems like it took forever, but it's done. So I have got my base coat on. And um, so I'm ready to go in and I am just going to do kind of traditional. This is just an orange, it does not look orange on that screen, but this is an orange color. Um, it is clean color and as I said um, in a previous video, I get these for one dollar at the Covered Bridge Festival. Um, I got this one a couple of years ago probably. So, two, two years ago, I would say. Um, it is the color Neon Orange. And I did not have any new oranges that looked pumpkin-y orange. They were more muted or, like, were lighter. So, um, this was the first orange that I saw of my collection, which my mom actually counted for me today. And she says I have 510 at this moment. So that is my nail polish count, 510. Um, anyways, so this is the first one that I came across that was pumpkin-y enough. So this is the one that I'm going to go with. It is pretty sheer, so I'm going to be doing definitely two coats, possibly three. It just depends on how bam it is when I'm done. So I guess we're ready to go in with the first coat of a couple. All right, now I have my first coat. As you can see, you can still see my whole entire smile line. So I am definitely, definitely doing a second coat. 
and we will see after the second coat if I'm gonna need a third but uh, we want this well we I don't care we <laughs> we I want this to be pretty opaque since it is supposed to be a pumpkin um, I don't want you to be able to see my smile line so definitely going in with the second coat so let's get that started second coat now just as a little reference here is one coat here is two coats um, the smile line is less visible but it's still visible so let me go ahead and finish with the second coat completely and we will decide about a third or not All right, now we've got two coats. It's still pretty visible, but I don't know if I want three coats. I guess I will go ahead and do one more coat, just because I don't want you to be able to see my smile line. And here is two coats and three coats. I don't see much of a difference, but I want them all to be the same, so. And I don't see that it's orange either on the screen. Okay, I'm not doing a fourth coat, even though you can still see my smile line. I am not going to have my fingernails be so thick. So that is three coats of Neon Orange by Cleon, Cleon Color, however you say that. Um, in the past, what I would have done is have my whatever shapes I was putting on ready and I would go in with one coat and do one nail at a time putting on another color but I have seen a lot of youtubers using um, clear polish so that is one of the things that I bought this Oktoberfest I mean um, Covered Bridge Festival I bought a clear it is just clear Clear. It's not a top coat, just a clear polish. So um, I'm going to be using this for the first time and see how that works compared to what I used to do. Um, so that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going, because I have that and because I'm going to uh, be digging around, I have to take these at least two of them out of the bag. I am probably just going to go ahead and get everything ready to go um, to start the design. Um, I might film it and fast forward, I'm not sure yet, but I am definitely going to drive for just a few minutes while I try to decide what to do next. So, see you in a second. So, my idea is to have um, obviously the eyes and the smile. I'm not sure how I'm going to do the smile yet, but for the eyes I was thinking probably some black squares, then I have some triangles, and then because like you know I'm going to do black, but um, whenever you actually light up a pumpkin it's actually yellowish from the lighting so then I got these neon ones I got neon triangles I got all kinds of neons I mean I would think I would only do either the orange or the yellow I don't think a green or whatever would be okay but I do need to take these out of the packaging this is how I get them from China which is actually pretty good because I don't know if you can see there are some that have fallen out they are not completely out so I can still open this actually I think they might be stuck in there I don't know how I will get them out 
but um, I, I have before gotten some where um, they actually fall out of the package completely and they are in this plastic and I'm going to have to clean them up. I, I think I have two that are like that that I haven't used yet so I haven't cleaned them up properly. But um, these are just a sticker backing. So you just pull the sticker and take it out without hurting your wet-ish nails. So there is one and you can reuse this baggie. It is completely sealed for anything. I typically put my Fimo slices in it to ship to Listia people. Um, so let's go ahead and open this one as well, which seems to have fared much better. There are none hanging on the outside. So now I have three sets of neon shapes. These are all neons. Then I have two sets of, um, this one is black, gold, and silver, and this, oh, I guess they're both black, gold, and silver of different shapes. These are all squares. These are different shapes. And then I also got this one, which is actually a star, like a gold type star glitter. Um, it's, you know, one of those big shaped glitters. And I was going to do that for just one of them and then mix and match. Um, again, I'm not sure what to do on the mouth. I might just take some squares and line them up in a mouth-like shape. Um, don't know yet. But I'm for sure going to do the eyes. Different colors, different shapes. That is for sure. So, um, I kind of like to have them out and ready to go, and so I'm not digging when I'm ready to set it. So, um, because my nails are wet, and this is, well, here, let's see. So, these are the stars. This is a glass. Well, it is glass. And this is just a little plastic piece. I have a lot of these, probably 20 different, um, this is a bigger size. There are smaller ones that are like half the size. Um, and they have these shapes in there. I also have some caviar beads in some. Um, so what you have to do is you have to pull this out. I just stick my tweezers in there. There's a little hole. And I work it out gently. Um, especially on the smaller ones, you have to be really careful because if you jerk it, then it's going to go flying everywhere. So you have to be really careful. Um, now I know that uh, some YouTubers, some nail artists, whatever, use a wax pencil or a crown or all kinds of different things to pick up the little rhinestones pieces. I prefer the tweezers. These came with a the ac acrylic set that I bought. I think I have probably five different pairs. Not all of them are curved. Some of them are just straight, but they are for nail art. And I just like using these. So I'm probably just going to pour it out. So there's one. And like I said, I'm probably only going to do this on one nail. So I got three on accident, but one back. So there I have two, one for each eyeball. And then, I mean, these tweezers are good for everything. I just use them throughout the whole entire nail art process. There's nothing they can't, well, I guess they can't really do caviar beads, but there's not much they can't do. <laughs> so I'm just going to set these aside probably on the edge of this paper here. One and two. So now 
Uh, well, I didn't even see how those would look on the nail. They're going to be just fine. I don't care. So another one I'm definitely doing is the black squares. So this little wheel here, it has four, four, um, what are those, cubbies of black squares, four cubbies of silver squares, and four cubbies of gold squares. Now, of course, they're all like a metal color on the part that goes against your nail, so that doesn't really matter. But I'm definitely going to do probably a couple of these because this is like standard black. So I will get four out for now and we'll see how it goes. So there I have four out and I'm just going to shut that back. Move these over here. Oh no, they're sticking. Move them over to the other ones. So now I've got me a little pile over here. I don't like to just pour them out and do as I go. because I don't want to pick that up and clean it. So, um, like I said, when they shine through, I just see like yellow. And so here we've got some yellow dots. These are yellow dots. Well, these are all dots. These are all circles. And we've got neon. They're all neon. Green, pink, yellow, purple, and blue, and orange, and then a repeat. So there are two cubbies of each color dots. So I think I'm going to do just one of these to start. This is going to be one of my eyes. The yellow shining through, and I hope that it will show up. You never know. It could look awful. <laughs> so we will just start with that. Um, I don't think that the neon orange would shine up very well, show up very well, because I am wearing neon orange polish. Um, so let's see. We have one, two, three, four. We have four eyeballs set aside. So now... I think I will go with this teardrops for an eye. Now this one is all kind of ovally, oh, sorry, my bad, I was out of camera. Kind of ovally shapes. These are teardrops. We got teardrops in all the colors and then we got just like an oval. So I think I'm going to try the yellow on those as well. To the yellow teardrops and the yellow ovals. Hoping that the yellow works out. And I could even switch them up, you know. Do a black eye with a... No, I don't know. I'm not sure. Right now, my plan is to match them. So the eyes are... Pl my plan is to match the eyes. But we will see. Um, and this one is also neons. These are rectangles and triangles. Um, I'm afraid the triangles might be too big, but I'm still going to try. This is the one that has them in the, where they had fallen. Sorry, my camera is being stupid. So they're all in this side here. Um, I think I would have to take this apart to get those all out. Or oh, shake it around. I don't know. We'll have to see. But I just think that this um, neon yellow popping out of the orange as the, you know, lighted up pumpkin is just going to look so cool. I'm hoping because otherwise it's not going to look cool and I'm going to look silly. But, I mean, nail art is what it is. You can't look too silly. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I have now got eight. 
So I think I'm gonna do a black circle. So this one is from Love and Beauty by Forever 21. I think I got it for like $1.99 or something at a Forever 21 in a mall. So, um, I'm going to go with these little black dots. These are all different uh, shapes and they are um, black, silver, and gold. So I'm going to do two of these. So very small compared to the, all the other ones. And I have only got nine. I need to figure out another one. Okay, I'm going to go with these silver stars right here as my tenth and final eyeballs. <clears throat> so, right here, on this piece of paper, I have got all my eyeballs laid out. So now it's time to put them on. I like to have them all facing the way that I want them. So this one was upside down, I just flipped it over. So now I have got all of my pairs lined up and now I've gotta put them on the fingers. So for this, as I said, this is my first time doing this method so we will see how it goes. But I've got my clear polish here. This is just clean color, Cleon color. However you say it, I just say clean color. Nail lacquer in clear, not a top coat, just clear polish. This is what I have picked up from watching YouTubers do nails. So, um, since I'm just doing the eyeballs, I... I think I'm going to have the eyes on this end and do the mouth kind of to cover up my smile line. So, because you know, basically that's how it will look. So what you want to do is just take, I am going to start off just testing on this pinky because we all know I'm not multitasker. I cannot work with my left hand. So I'm going to try it out with this. So we're going to put just a line here. And it's just clear polish. It's not going to hurt anything. If you have a little chunk, put it on there. So there are the eyeballs for one jack-o'-lantern. No, it doesn't look beautiful right now, but I'm not finished. So those are my eyeballs for one of my pumpkins. So I'm going to go through and do some more. Let me try and be like all those professional nail artists that have it way up front here. My stupid camera is stupid. Come on, focus. Focus on my fingers. Thank you. Now I'm going to turn off. Okay, so now it's in. <laughs> now that I've got it in manual focus, let's see if I can keep it there. So um, I'm going to keep these small ones on my pinky. So let's see if I can be a professional and do a close up view and not go out of camera. This is going to be the tricky part, not going out of camera. So just put your little line, get your tweezers. Did I do it in camera? Now I was shaky, I don't know if you can see, but um, I think it is kind of popping. But I'm um, against the 
against the orange. It's actually in person looking lime green, not neon yellow, but whatever. All right, moving on. I'm gonna keep up with putting eyeballs on. That time I did not do a line. Let's see if that works. Hey. Okay, so that is the glitter pieces. The eyeballs for my glitter. They are kind of holographic gold. So it's getting a couple colors shining through there. And I did just do one dot and one dot, whereas on the pinky I did a whole line. So um, that one seemed to work okay. Let's just keep going, see what we can accomplish here. Again, yes, I am shaky, but I have I'm using my left not dominant hand to place these. So those are not perfect, but it's a jack lantern. You can never can carve it perfect anyways. So moving on. And we are going to seal this with the top coat, so it'll be okay to not have them completely secured down, I guess. But that one glob is actually working pretty good at securing it. Again, not perfect. <laughs> um, if only I was coordinated. Okay, well now I'm out of focus. Let's get one of the big ones here. There's that one. Put the diamond shapes on it. Alright, moving back to the other side. So here's what I've got so far. The eyeballs on six of them. I can't believe you can actually see that. It's still focused. Okay, back to what I was doing. Alright, so we just got a few left. I was out of camera, sorry. But I did that on an upside down. It's not the same. Okay. I am so sorry this video is going to be so long, but I don't know. I mean, I will do as much fast forwarding as possible. For sure. So I have got my eyeballs on. All of my jack-o'-lantern eyeballs are on. Now... I'm going to figure out what I'm going to do for the mouth while I dry just a smidge. Okay, so I have decided to try and go with the eyes and match. So I have not gotten any of them out yet. Um, and I might just do it as I go along because I don't know how this is going to go. And I might just end up doing the same mouth on all of them depending on what works best. So, um, it would probably be a lot easier to, well, <laughs> if I was talented, to just get a um, paintbrush and some acrylic paint and draw a smile, but I'm not talented and I can't draw, so I'm going to be difficult. So, I'm going to attempt to go on with this finger. And as I've said, this is the um, circles. So I'm going to open this up. Sorry, that's out of focus. So I've got them there and I've got my finger here. And I got my clear. So let's open the clear up. Get the tweezers ready to go. Oh, this is going to be difficult and shaky. So forgive me now because it's going to be very shaky. So, let's draw a little smile. Yeah, that's not a smile, but got it. 
That looks nothing like a jack-o'-lantern. Nothing. <laughs> so I took my finger and I moved it just a smidge to try and make it into more of a smile. I think it just moved the whole thing up. Yeah, that looks awful. Well, I guess it kind of does look like a little face. <sighs> Stupid camera. Kind of looks like a face. But I'm not buying it. So, I think... I'm not going to do that. <laughs> So, this is so hard to do nail art and not be an artist. Okay, so here I've got my little circles, black circles. Let's see what I can get with these. Well, that looks a little bit better. At least it looks more of like a smile. So I think I'm going to pour these out because that was terrible getting them out of there. So I'm going to pour them out. Get them all flipped over or try to. Okay, I have enough turned over, whatever. Okay, so let's try again. Okay, so I used less on that one. But it still kind of looks like a smile, so we will go with it. Um, I'm going to try on this one. Get those out of you. Get these. I'm going to try to do square mouth. See how this works. Not quite what I was hoping for, but it still looks eh. <laughs> I think I am just going to stick with the round ones. It seems to be working the best, but I don't know if I'm going to have enough. Yeah, I should have enough. Okay, here we go. This is not going to be in focus. Sorry. I don't want to mess with my camera. That one looks evil with the eyes. Oh yeah. Okay. Moving on. Hold on, I got two stuck together here. Oh yeah, some of these are really looking pretty good. Too bad I messed up some other ones. Whoops. <laughs> okay, hold on. I'm running low, and these are all upside down. So we're going to flip them over and pour out some more. Okay, here we go. Does that look like he's missing a tooth? That's what I was going for. Missing a tooth. Not too bad. Okay, we're almost done. Two fingers left. Last one, and I'm just a few short, but I don't want to pour it out and have to clean it later. So I'm just going to have this sitting here. Whoops. Just drop two out. Nope, one. Okay. Last nail. Let's see what we can do here. Okay, I think I'm done. So, here's what I got. So, we got this one is awful. This one did not work out, and this one is a. Uh, 
But there is those two, and there is those, or those eight, these two. Sorry, it's not in focus. Um, I really think that the um, circles looked a lot better than trying to match. That just looks awful. Um, now, we do still need to go in with a top coat just to seal them for sure and, you know, make sure that they're not going to fall off. Um, even though they are held in place with the clear polish, I just like the security of having it and, like, they're not that shiny, so I think that it'll bring out the extra shine. Um, so I have my rapid dry top coat here with me. I'm just going to go in really quickly and cover them all up. And you want to make sure that you get under the as the um, things as well. So you got to go on all sides of your little gem there. And so yeah, that one's much shinier now. Okay, that is my final manicure. Luckily, the um, stones or whatever you want to call the things that I put on my fingers, the studs, I guess, um, did not bleed. You do have to kind of worry about that when you're using colored and then uh, colored studs and then putting on... Um, top coat. I did do that one time with caviar beads. I went to put the top coat on and it completely stripped the color off of the caviar beads and they turned clear. So you do have to kind of worry about that. But luckily uh, everything stayed put and this is my final jack-o-lantern nail art. As I said, I did mess up a couple, especially the first one, when I was trying to match them. But all together, I do think that they still look pretty cool. And they are 3D, so you do kind of have to look for, um, watch what you're doing. You could chip off a little stud. Um, but I will save these once I take them off. I will put them in a bag because unless I lose them there's nothing wrong with them to use in another time they're just gonna have a little bit of clear polish on it but that's it so thank you guys so much for watching this is going to be what I will be doing a lot more of the 3D nail art is my cup of tea as opposed to trying to um, draw anything so I hope you guys enjoyed it um, let me know if you want to see more like information on how to use them more of like I tried to do professional up close and everything so hopefully that worked out but let me guys let me know in the comment down below how you like this video if you like 3d nail art and all of that and I will see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.